Alright, hey everybody, welcome to match one of Spiky Saturday 113, not 112, as I think I said in the draft video. We've won the die roll, we're going to play first, and we've got ourselves a two-lander with nothing that we can play. Nothing that we can play. I've been super thinking about my mulligan decisions recently. There was a podcast called You Mulligan Too Much, and I've frankly disagree with them very heavily um they would i think say to keep this because blah 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 by turn three you've got a 70 percent chance of drawing a land but you have a 30 percent chance of literally doing nothing <laughs> on turn three or turn four and i think that's just bad so i am indeed going to mull this hand um so this is that hand but with one less card which is not great, uh, but we get a scry, and we're going to scry that right to the bottom. And, uh, yeah. Maybe 17 lands, but that's results-oriented thinking. We're up against another blue deck. Well, we, uh, we, we get our third land, but we're still off color. Opponent drops their theorist. We drop nothing me and opponent both on that mono blue plan gets in for one chief of the foundry Raro. hey a virgin automaton blocks the theorist Alright, so I'll definitely think about going back to 17 lands. I mean, I guess that starting hand was better than this hand because it had a blue and a green, but I just, I, I can't keep hands that do literally nothing. I think it's very bad precedent to set. In for two, I will take that to two. The Crusher. The Crusher. Uh, I will drop a Hintelin Drake and pass the turn. And get hit for six. At least if we hit a forest, we can uh, kill it. Or I guess I got hit for seven, actually. Opponent refusing to show me his second color. Also not scrying. So I could cut maybe like a Silk Weaver Elite for land, I guess. What is happening in that art? I've never really looked at this. She's like... Oh, she's got like spider arms and is climbing up a building? Okay. 7-7, seven, seven, Krasha. Um, I will chump. That is what I will do. Consulate Dreadnought. Okay. Hey, a forest. Aim for two. Well, it's unfortunate that we're going to have to blow up probably the big one. So you're going to crew the crusher. Welp, I'm going to kill the crusher. And then you can't crew the Dreadnought. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Opponent has been flabbergasted. No, not the counter. Don't you dare tap that mana again. I mean, if he counters this, we're just toast. Absolute toast. Oh, I'm on the edges of my seat. What's going to happen? What are you going to do? Why won't you tell me? Okay. All right, all right, yeah, that, that's probably not what he really wanted to have happen, but saves the crusher, future turn, that is still going to be a problem. We basically have to super race here, and I don't know that we can do that. Um, we have five mana and just a whole bunch of three drops. So I guess we're gonna draw a card, get some energy. And that's that. And we're gonna take eight next turn. Gear Seeker Serpent, all right, seems good. Sure, I'll take eight, go to nine. Seems like a great plan. Um, You know what? I'm just not going to show my opponent any more of my deck, because what can I do? I, I can drop a creature, chump that. Uh, blue, one, two, three, four, five. Take five. Um, literally nothing happens. Um. All right, we'll play it out. We'll play it out. We'll play it out. We'll play it out. So we'll chump the dreadnought with the refiner. Next turn we can get in for four, take him to fourteen. Um. Pretty sure we're just fighting against the inevitable here. Is this mono blue artifacts? Good thing I main decked that appetite, eh? The question is, do we do the 17 land switch? I think we still do. But what do we cut? Oh, I hate losing to Council of Dreadnought. I know it's better than we all thought at the start, but I think better is a very generous word. All right, opponent scryed to the top. That's bad news. I guess we're bleeding time off his clock, too. The Crusher. All right, so tap, tap, crew Crusher, Crusher, crew that. Come at me for 13. I will block the 8, 12. I will take 5, go to 4. I mean, oh, I was going to say he may as well come with the Crusher, but it has summoning sickness. The one extra point of damage wasn't huge, but it can attack. So I don't think we picked up much else in the way of artifact hate. I 
It was honestly kind of a weird draft overall. I don't necessarily think I saw anything open. Even white, which has historically been really open, I don't recall seeing. It was mostly blue was pseudo open. Red was certainly not. Black, not really. Weird draft, weird draft. Uh, we get an island. So we, does he have the mana? Blue, one, two, three, four. So we can hope he doesn't get the mana for that. Um, we hack in for four because that can't block. And then we drop a pair of three drops. With this blocking the uh, Consulate Dreadnought. And this blocking the Serpent. If he doesn't get the mana. It's all moot if, the second he drops an island. Drop that island. There we go. Pay that mana. S oh, Jesus. Fraw. I hate that card. This card is dumb. Has anybody ever beaten this in the history of Aether Revolt? Um, I think you beat it by being really, really fast, and that's it. If that card comes down... Ugh. Add it to the list. Add it to the list of uh, cards that I think they royally screwed up on in this set. Um, I really don't like you, Moray. Really don't like you. Get out of there. And then what do we want for lands? We want a forest. That sounds right to me. All right, back in we go. I guess I could throw in a negate against the artifacts. Negate instead of larger than life. Yeah, let's do that. Come on, mediocre deck. You can do it. You can do it. I will play first. Show me seven lands. Um, yeah. I could maybe do something with this. We just need to draw lands. Let's keep it. <clears throat> Drop the forest past the turn. And then what? Show me that. Uh, oh, he does have another color. He beat me with one hand tied behind his back. Seed Sculptor down. You are a 2-3. Nothing. In for two. Uh, let me think. Crushers for... Uh, I don't think there's any point in holding up in the gate. Um, but is there a point of holding this back? Is there a point to that? Um, let's put it down. Let's take advantage of the no two drops. Are you going to rebuff me? All right, there we go. <laughs> I've drafted this card three times now. I have still never played it. Never, ever. Show me that three drop that I should have held back in the gate for. Let's see it. Um, yeah, I could have negated that, but playing a, a, a vehicle with no creatures is fine by me. Totally fine by me. Life Crafter's Gift. Boy, I wish I had one more land. Um, well, we're going to implement. Should have paid blue for that. We're going to jam that implement down, draw a card, give me a land. Thank you. Oh, we even getting a gate back online. In for five, take him to 13. Four, 
unfortunately, I assume we're going to see a uh, creature this turn that we're not going to get to negate. But next turn, whoo, counters everywhere. Blue-green counters deck. That's the counters deck, right? Blue-green counters. Pretty sure that's what I saw all the pros playing. Oh, boy. No. <laughs> Just hell no. Hell no. All right. So, uh, if we life crafters gifted, it would be three counters total. So three power getting added. So three, six, seven, eight. We can save that for a turn. Um, yeah, get in for five. Let's drop a verdant. Pass the turn. If we top deck a land, we just win. Or no, we don't just win. Or no, we just win because we've cast this for free. Come on, land. Come on, land. And come on, pass the turn. There we go. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, the land wasn't coming, but looks like nothing was coming for the opponent. Um, yeah, still nothing else that I want to put in. Um, yeah. Let's... Is there any point putting like the Enraged Giant in? One, two, three, four. Not really. Splash with the Spire Bluff. Um, invigorated Rampage. No. Um, yeah. Let's jump back in. Let's do that again. Let's counter some stupid, potentially backbreaking cards. Uh, we get a turtle into nothing but someday a Sky Whale or a Wanderer. I'll keep. If my opponent has a slow uh, start, we uh, get to turtle him out. Slow start, slow start, slow start. Uh, well, at least he's not playing the modification deck. You know, the deck where the opponent rolls a die, and if it hits a six, they win. And every other time, they just lose the game. I hate losing to that deck. I hate losing to high variants really disruptable, but you need to have the answer if they happen to get their combo type decks. Um, hey, Brawls. I'm still never going to get to cast you ever, am I? Turtle down. No two drop. Beauty. I felt like I hit F6 twice there, but apparently not, so that's good. Uh, well, turtle coming to get you. I will hold up that negate to terrify you. Do it. I dare you. I dare you. Do it. Do it. I dare you. Ooh, opponent. Oh, no. Oh, no, opponent. Opponent kept a two lander consulate dreadnought hand. All right, so next turn we're going to drop the wanderer, get ourselves a uh, an island. Watchful automaton, sure. That's going to block my turtle. Boy, all the lands. All right, well, let's drop a Wanderer, get an island. We are actually going to get to play a Baral's Expertise. Pass the turn. So we can Baral's his board and cast a Whale? Seems decent.
Seems the decent. Um, all right. Oh, top deck and all the lands now. So he's got five cards of pure gas. The Crushinator still can't do anything with his board. So we're going to bounce all of that, and all he'll be able to do is cast those or that. Seems good. And we're going to hit him for four. Whoo. Um, yeah. Boop, boop, boop. Ba doop, boop, 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 boop. Bounce your board. Play a whale. Play a whale. Hit you for four. Got him on a five turn clock. Four turn clock? Four turn clock with just the whale. We can hit in against his automaton. Trade with the Wanderer. He takes five, goes to nine, has nothing left on board. I think even Serpent's going to be a little bit too slow for him. If he gets Serpent next turn. Confiscation coup. All right, well, you're dealing four to me. I'm dealing four to you. That's still fine. I still win that race. I guess he gets a crusher next turn. Uh, Windrake, eh? Welp. Let's refine our main phase one, see what we draw. A land. Let's get in and put a counter on. Get you for five, take you to nine. And then let's drop a Windrake. Pass the turn. Or maybe he watchful automatons and dreadnoughts here, because then he can turn the dreadnought on. Theorist. All right. Automaton. All right. Gums up the board. A skyship plunderer, eh? Well, not much I can do here. <sighs> if we attack with that and that and that, we could do a whole bunch of trades. So what's the best blocks for him? Block there, nothing happens. Block their trade, go to six. Be aggressive. We can't let him get his uh, BS going. Cool. Down to six. Seems fine. Let's drop a plunderer. So that's currently a guaranteed two in the air. Oh, come on, Life Crafter's Gift. Life Crafter's Gift one time. Daredevil, Dragster, Consulate, Dreadnought. Sure. Ugh. <laughs> oh. I hate my land draws these days. Uh, what do we do? So if we come in, we're going to see that crew that. He's got two blockers on the ground. Block. Block takes four, goes to two. Um, block. Block goes to two. He goes to two. Any which way, I think. So what's the biggest blowout for us here? Crew that. Block and kill that. Block that. And then we have lethal in the air next turn. Um, alternatively, block and kill the plunderer so that this doesn't get a counter. Block that so that it Trades. 
and then we have four, but he only has a single blocker. Um, yeah, let's just continue putting the pressure on. That's how we're going to win this match. We're not going to win by being conservative against uh, high variance thingies. So I believe we're going to see whale plunderer theorist turtle. It's going to go to one. Oh, does he have select for inspection? No, nope, goes to one. All right. All right. A single life point divides us from victory or not yet victory. So how do we get that one last life point through? Serpent. Trade wins. That's mean. Vengeful Rebel. Good Christ. Opponent's just comboing off here. All right. Go on, hit me for seven. Well, no, he can't hit me for seven because then he dies. Hit me for four. Sure. I'll let you do that. I'll be nice, opponent. Ouch. Oh my god, deck. When's the last time we drew a card? <laughs> when is the last freaking time we drew a card? The upside is I can lifecraft awakening if we hit an artifact for uh nine. What are the odds of the rest of my deck is just land? Seven lands out of twenty two cards. So that's fifteen non land cards. Um, I will take four. You can draw yourself a couple of cards. If I can just kill that whale. <sighs> Why me? Why me? Um, yeah, pass the turn. There's only six lines left in the deck. Only six. What did we start with? We started with three lands. Started with three lands, so we've only drawn three non-land cards. Bye, Windrake. Why did Windrake die? Oh, he eventual rebelled? I see. I was too distracted thinking about how incredibly unlikely it is that we would reach this point in time. But here we are. What you gonna do, opponent? Gonna hit me for four in the air. Ouch. Serpent. Windkin riders. Yay. <laughs> Implement. Let's draw my next land. I believe the kids are saying wrecked these days. Utterly wrecked. I will see you guys for match two. I hopefully will not see all of these lands again. See you then.